Gary, you will be happy with three points today. That was a great performance. Yeah, I'm delighted. Yeah, I'm delighted with the boys. But not just the three points and the three goals. I was delighted with the performance from start to finish. I thought they, they controlled the game, they dominated the game today. And, and that was the most pleasing thing against the top side, by the way. That, that'll be up there challenge at the end of the year for us to, to put in a performance like that. It's, it's very pleasing for me and the, and the coaching staff and, and the players themselves. They, you know, that'll they have to take belief from that now that they, they can go and match these sides. That's now we've went to Oval and played with 10 men and 9 men and, and come away with a great point. You know, we've played Korean at home, probably should have got a penalty against them to win it, and with one of the other top sides. Linfield last week, yeah, we got beat 2-0, but we certainly competed with them, and another referee in decision, you know, put us out of the game to a certain degree. But this week, you know, I not thought it was going to be the same all over again. The, the first goal we score, you know, was never a foul in the goalkeeper in a million years, even though he's admitted that. You know, and you're thinking to yourself, is this just a our recurrent theme, you know, and you're thinking, is this going to go against us today again? But, you know, thankfully the boys come out in the second half, continued off where they left off in the first half and, and put in a solid performance and, and got their just rewards with the three goals and could have scored a few more. Yeah, because that's what we're saying. The first half, you know, Crusaders OK were 1-0 up, but we looked as if we had the better of the game going into the half time. Yeah, we certainly we did. We, we certainly dominated the game today. Um, from even the first half, the first 45 minutes, I was really, really pleased with it. And the only thing I was disappointed about was the decision that went against this game. But second half, again, carried on. And, you know, very rarely do we do you ever get a, a performance like that where you dominate a game sort of for 90 minutes because the other team always usually has a 15, 20 minute spell. But certainly today they didn't have that. The, the only real concern coming out of the game today would be that blow that uh, Danny Perkis took sort of towards the end there. Uh, I know it's early days yet, can you give us any insight into how he is? So I won't be able to speak about that until obviously uh, we get him, get him assessed, obviously it's a, an impact injury so it'll be icing all weekend and then hopefully we'll have a clearer picture on Tuesday night when we're back into training and, and he gets to see your limb. Another positive performance anyway Gary and now we move on to Lauren next week which will be another tough game. They're all tough games, um, there's no easy ones certainly. I haven't found any this year anyway, so um, yeah, it'll be tough next week again. But you know, the last game before the the, the lockdown happened was was Lauren away, and we went down there and we done really really well. We put on a really good performance. Yeah, we got beat one 0 but that night we showed that we could we could go down and put in a good performance, especially after earlier on the season going down and getting beat six 0 So hopefully um, after today's performance, we can take a bit of belief from that, belief from their last performance down down Lauren the last time, and and hopefully go out and play the same way as we did today, and and, and hopefully get a, a result again.